A continuous positive airway pressure machine, which is often abbreviated as CPAP, is a commonly prescribed device for treating sleep apnea disorders. There are millions of CPAP users worldwide. A CPAP machine sends a steady flow of pressurized air into the nose and mouth as a person breathes. This helps keep the airway open. Join me this week as I discuss key features and some pros and cons to using a CPAP machine. Additionally, I will also share some of my own experiences and the important things I've learned along the way. The most basic ventilator available is a CPAP machine. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. This machine is primarily used for people who have obstructive sleep apnea. A person will be given a sleep study test and if the person experiences a certain number of events in which he stops breathing, a CPAP machine may be trialed. A CPAP machine takes air from the room and then increases the pressure and forces it out through an air hose. The air hose is connected to a mask which is strapped to the person's face. The increased air pressure helps keep the airways open and forces air into the person's lungs. The amount of pressure used will be determined by the medical staff and will be pre-programmed into the machine. CPAP machines are small. They can sit on a bedside table and they are relatively inexpensive. The big drawback with CPAP machines is that they continuously exert high pressure into the patient's airways. If a person needs medium or high levels of pressure to keep his airways open during sleep, this may inhibit the person from being able to breathe out. Many people who are started on CPAP find they are unable to sleep or wake up from sleeping feeling very tired. This happens because the person is expending a large amount of energy trying to breathe out over the pressure of the CPAP device. The pros of using a CPAP machine include improves a person's ability to sleep without waking up, lowers the risk of having a heart attack, stroke, or other cardiovascular event, helps lower blood pressure, reduces daytime sleepiness, and may reduce blood glucose and cholesterol levels. The cons of using a CPAP machine include uncomfortable, difficulty falling asleep, especially in the beginning, nasal congestion, feelings of claustrophobia or anxiety, dry mouth, nosebleeds, skin irritation or sores where the mask touches the face, and being bloated with air. There is now a more advanced CPAP machine called an auto-adjusting CPAP or APAP for short. While CPAP delivers one continuous pressure level of air, APAP automatically adjusts the air pressure to meet each person's breathing needs, which often change throughout the night as he moves in and out of different stages of sleep. This helps the person get a better night's sleep. If you are using a CPAP machine and are having trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up very tired, talk to your doctor. You may need to be switched over to an auto-adjusting CPAP. If auto-adjusting CPAP fails, you may need a different device called a BiPAP machine. Also, if you have other medical conditions such as COPD, central sleep apnea, or heart failure, ask your doctor if CPAP is your best treatment option. You may need a different machine called BiPAP. For more information about BiPAP machines, please see the video, CPAP versus BiPAP, what is the difference? The pros of using an APAP include, it can calculate an individual's required pressure automatically and adjust to a level of comfort without any preset programming. And they are good for individuals who require various pressures during the night. The cons of using an APAP include, APAP machines are expensive. They can be up to four times the price of a regular CPAP machine. A nasal pillow mask has a small cushion which caps over the nostril. It may also have prongs which fit into the nostril. This mask allows for a person to easily wear glasses. It also works well for those individuals with facial hair. A nasal mask is a cushioned mask which covers the whole nose. It may be a better option if a person moves around when he sleeps. A full mask is shaped like a triangle and covers the nose and mouth. A full mask is great for those individuals who breathe by mouth while sleeping or if there is a blockage in the nose. 
If a CPAP machine is not working out, please talk to your healthcare provider about whether one of these treatments may be an option. Some people only experience sleep apnea when they sleep on their back. There are products available which can help a person sleep on his side. Devices such as a mouth guard or an orthodontic retainer can help keep the airway open. A hypoglossal nerve stimulator is a surgically implanted device which delivers electric stimuli to the nerves in the airway. This improves the muscle tone of the airway which in turn helps keep the airway open. For certain types of central sleep apnea, a surgically implanted device can deliver impulses through the phrenic nerve to stimulate the diaphragm. This helps initiate breathing while sleeping. Obesity is a risk factor for some types of sleep apnea. Changing one's diet and exercising may help a person lose weight. This may reduce the severity of a person's sleep apnea. Some children have sleep apnea because their tonsils or adenoids are too large. Surgery to remove them can often resolve the apnea. In adults, surgery is not always effective because it may be difficult to pinpoint the exact location of the blockage which is causing the sleep apnea. Words of warning. If you have a neuromuscular disease, such as ALS, mitochondrial disease, or muscular dystrophy, do not use a CPAP machine. Folks with neuromuscular diseases have weak respiratory muscles. This means when the CPAP is forcing high pressure into the airways, a person with a neuromuscular disease will not have the muscle strength to breathe out against the high pressure. Using a CPAP device in these individuals could kill them. I have mitochondrial disease. When I first started down this road of using ventilators, my doctor ordered a CPAP machine for me. I tried using the machine, but within minutes I had to rip off the mask. I was left huffing and puffing and my lung muscles burned in pain. The CPAP immediately worsened my breathing. I then learned people with neuromuscular disease should use a machine called BiPAP. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.